well is a module may will be discussing uh, that is the, the transport of sperms in man that means give the point from where the sperms are produced and then they are transported to uh, the point where they are to be then ejaculated and uh, um, uh, that is uh, they are to be introduced into to the female so yeah this is all what we call the transportation now a system of tubes uh, carries the sperms from the testes to the penis which is the intromittent organ the seven vestibules merge into the network jo humne uh, histology mein jab dekha tha to wahan pe ek ek anastomosis hai ek bahut hi network hai in uh, in tamam seven vestibules uh, ke bahar jab nikalte hai epididymis ke andar to there aur ye jo hissa hai that is called as uh, reti testes now which merges into a coiled tube called the epididymis so we are familiar what is the, the epididymis now the epididymis has three main functions ye bahut important functions hai it stores sperm sabse baat to ye hai aur isi ke andar phir maturity aati hai aur sperms us kabil ho jate hain ke then they can have the ability they get the ability to fertilize the egg isme ek physiological ability aa jati hai it uh, stores sperms until they mature and ready to be ejaculated then it contains smooth muscles that help propel the sperm towards the penis by peristaltic contractions ab ye bhi important hai yahan pe maturity agar ho jaye and if they don't have the if they don't come out aur to wo bhi adhuri baat hai to ye zahir hai ki ye jo sperms hai they are to do peristaltic contractions se kiski peristaltic contractions particularly that is epididymis ki jo tubes hain ya phir sperm duct hai now it serves as a duct system for sperm to pass from the testes to the ductus deferens this ductus deferens is also called as the sperm duct jo ki hum is diagram mein bhi dekh rahe hain ke ye sara testes aur ye reti testes hain yahan se hote hue ye epididymis hai aur wahan se then there is the ductus deferens mein iska iska ana along with certain secretions and then the a uh, human there is hormone also okay now ductus deferens or sperm duct then after leaving the scrotum that continues forward passes around the urinary bladder and enlarges to form the ampulla aur ye cheez humne is ampulla mein dekh so this is ductus deferens or juhi ye phir iska terminal end jo hai wo ampulla kehlata hai और इसके साथ ही साथ ये दीज आर द ग्लैंड विच वी कॉल द सेमिनल वेजिकल्स और इसके बाद फिर ये प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड है ये प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड ये चीज और इस प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड के दरमियान में ये यूट्रिकल है और विच इज दूरथ्रा बिकम्स कंटिन्यूस विद द यूरथ्रा और ये इजेकुलेटरी डक्ट है तो ये तमाम जो ट्यूब्स हैं अगर ये एक कोऑर्डिनेशन के साथ ये काम नहीं करेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली स्पर्म्स जो हैं दे कैन नॉट कम आउट ऑफ द ऑफ द बॉडी तो द एम्पुला दैट स्टोर सम स्पर्म्स अंटिल दे आर इजैकुलेटेड और इसके अंदर स्पर्म्स होंगे तो जाहिर स्पर्म्स जो हैं दे कम आउट और इसके साथ ऑब्वियसली दे आर सिक्रीशंस ऑफ दीज डिफरेंट ग्लैंड एंड दे कॉन्स्टिट्यूट दैन ए सेमी सॉलिड it is a gelatinous so semi solid uh, like a liquid which we call the the semen that is distal to the ampulla the ductus deferens becomes the ejaculatory duct or ye ejaculatory duct ban jata hai the urethra is the final is a final section of the reproductive duct system or it is kyunki urethra jo hai it is a common passageway for the removal of urine as well as for the removal of reproductive fluid or ye reproductive fluid also called as semen and then when it comes in the penis so it is then ready to introduce into the female so this is all about this is a transportation right from the part uh, from uh, the where the sperms are produced and it gets it gathers different types of uh, collections of uh, the 
द ग्लैंडुलर कनेक्शन जिसमें जिसमें मुख्त ग्लैंड्स की सिक्रीशंस हैं काउपर्स ग्लैंड्स है जिसके अंदर प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड है फिर एम्पुलरी ग्लैंड एम्पुला है तो वहाँ से होता हुआ ये फिर ये द फ्लूड है वे कम्स आउट द बॉडी तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द स्पर्म्स इन ह्यूमन और मैन तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट